position and empty it up a little bit. So we just think of this as an anti-extension. Now the way I went through those is the degree of difficulty. So we always start in a tall kneeling. Two rules. One, you have to maintain posture. Knee to ear, my hip should fall in that line, shoulder should fall in that line, and ear should be in that line. Second part is that orientation has to be maintained as you go forward and come back up. And then the last thing, you're not allowed to feel your lower back. So if you find at a certain range, all of a sudden you get low back sensation, that becomes the end point and then come back up. Over time, you'll develop the ability to go further. So while going further is harder, it's simply harder, it isn't necessarily better. So tall posture, nice neutral lumbar pelvic position. Everything stays as one unit down and one unit back up. A nice mantra is your hips fall the ball on the way down, pretend like somebody pulls you by the shoulder blades coming up. Now, once we've mastered the ability to control the midsection, then we can simply go into a plank. And from the plank position, roll. Same guidelines. I need to maintain posture and no low back sensation. Once I've mastered rolling, then we'll go with picking a foot up. So we're moving into a three point position on the ball. And then we add rolling and lifting the foot as our top mid degree of difficulty. So remember, you need to master one level before moving on to the next. You have to maintain your posture and no low back sensation.